This course is particularly aimed uh, at green belts, could be yellow belts as well, but particularly green belts uh, who have been through the standard green belt course, who have been introduced to the techniques, who are able to use them to some extent, but now recognise that uh, they could use them a little bit more effectively, uh, or they're being called upon to use uh, the, the data tools more effectively, or just because you've been doing some, some green belt work, green belt projects or, or, or work, and you recognise that, yeah, I'm not quite sure I've done that exactly the, as well as I could have. Um, so this is really uh, taking the same tools that we cover in the Green Belt course, but really uh, deepening your, your understanding and your competency in them. But you can you can do all the basics with Excel. Um, so uh, Excel and actually SPC Plus as well, which we, which we include with the, with, with the material. Um, so it'll it'll cover everything from uh, recapping the you know kind of selecting measures, uh, operational definition, the quality of the data, uh, process sampling, which of course is something that is a, is a challenge for for a lot of people. So really getting a little bit more time to spend on that and concentrating on, on that and how to do it in in real life. Uh, and then once you've got your data, uh, what, what do we do with it? So uh, you know, look, the graphs that you can use to, to, to interpret the data, uh, SPC, uh, again applying that in practice, um, how do you do that? Um, uh, and then um, you know, do, doing some analysis with, with your data as well. So uh, you know, seg segmenting your data and generating Pareto charts and scatter plots and uh, and, se and segmenting the data. Uh, so this is a, is a two-day uh, program. Um, so there's, there's a fair bit of, of, of content in it. Uh, and lots of practical stuff as well because you, you, you need to practice with this so uh, as you'd expect starts off with we, we give you data uh, and we can we can run through the, the, the tools you can use and the thinking and then we've got exercises where we generate data and we think about how we get it and how, how do we assure the quality and so on and actually uh, make it make it fairly fairly practical so 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 quite, quite hands-on need to bring your, your, your laptop with that uh, with Excel on it mm -hmm. Yeah, yellow belts would be okay with this. I mean, again, it really it is if you've identified the need to use data a bit more effectively and confidently, mm -hmm. then that will be absolutely fine. Uh, it will be it will be um, it delivered in a, a, a domain um, context mm -hmm. and, and framework just to give it some structure. Or, or practitioners, maybe people that have done continuous improvement or every uh, day operational excellence. Uh, lean practitioners, uh, maybe that maybe it's been a bit like what they've done uh, in, in their lean practitioner training is a little bit light. Uh, again, recognizing that, that, that data is important there as well. Um, so yeah, abso absolutely. Um, so we will cover it you know, fr fr from the basics um, because I think it's something that people usually find they want to recap and say, now hang on a minute, I, I, I heard this the first time around, however, I, I really want to understand it properly at this time. So it really will build up your, uh, your, your confidence in the use of data and you'll be able to to, to uh, talk, talk data with confidence, you'll be able to, 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 to make d data driven decisions and inform data driven decisions uh, and, and you'll feel that you're doing the right thing and you can stand up and justify the data you're using to the, to the people you're, you're, you're presenting it to.